So my sisters and I are going to dinner at a hibachi grill. It's our favorite place. We only usually go once a year with our family on New Year's Eve, but tonight we're going again because it's our cousin's birthday and we're super excited to eat good food. Oh, man. oh, thank you. Right. Thank you. Haley, what do you think of my dairy cream with a ton of sprinkles? It's a crap waste of money. <laughs> That's not a dance. I can do it. <laughs> this is what I get every time and I think I'm stupid, but I get a uh, vanilla frosty with a ton of sprinkles. It is stupid. It's not stupid. <laughs> what did you get? You got the same thing as this. You Mine literally, is a you got the same dollar, thing. Not jerk. five. It was two. two. It was two. <laughs> okay. I think that guy gave us a discount on uh, our Frosties because I was like, thanks, baby. <laughs> and the hair comes off that's how you know the night's over <laughs> so today I kept my hair a little bit more straight with a tiny bit of a curl I think I kind of like my hair better this way and not when it's super curled um, I just have my necklaces and I have this giant oversized jacket kind of like robe but I wear it as a jacket because it's super comfy and super cute my Grammy actually gave this to me because um, it used to be hers before she passed away but I wore it all the time when I was with her so she finally like one day just told me I could have it um, I have this pink polka dot kind of material dress on right now double buckled belt and this is my bag from Nine West that I have on so yeah it's gonna be a good day I'm going to Panera Bread to meet up with someone Guys, I just realized that I'm wearing a dress and it has definitely like openings that show my legs and I have not shaved in a while. And if that seems gross to you guys, then you know what, whatever, because I don't know, the, sometimes the way I see it, and tell me if you see it this way too, is if you don't have a boyfriend, sometimes what's the point of shaving your legs all the time? No one's going to be touching your legs, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Maybe I'm psycho. I don't even care. Okay, guys. I'm waiting for my friend to get here. I'm meeting her at uh, Panera. This is the little shop area that I go to usually for most lunches and most coffee dates. So anyway, um, I decided I was going to go on a little bit of a rant while I'm waiting. So basically, okay, I just realized that tonight is the end of The Bachelor. Like tonight is when he picks the girls. I love The Bachelor. I'll probably always watch it. Like as long as it runs, I will friggin' watch it. Anyway, I know that you guys are, some people watching this are probably going to disagree with me. That's totally fine. But last time I watched the last episode not only did Ari say he loved both girls but the thing about the fantasy suites actually kind of pissed me off no one ever says like oh yeah we had sex in the fantasy suite I mean sometimes that happens but and you never know so you're always sitting there like wondering are they hooking up at the fantasy suite it's kind of obvious that they are but maybe they're not the fact that three different girls get to go in the fantasy suite with this same dude pisses me off one girl goes on a date goes to the fantasy suite with him have sex maybe i mean maybe they don't whatever still spends the night with him then the next day he takes another girl on the fantasy suite date not only is the girl that's going on the second the fantasy suite date um not only does she know that he probably slept with a girl before him but the girl before that slept with him the night before knows that he's about to sleep with another girl on the second date. Like that is, if that's not messed up, like I don't know what is. Okay 
guys, that's the end of today's video. Make sure to comment, like below, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.